morning and welcome to the Shack and First Monday Morning Minute. Hi, I'm Dr. Todd Shack and welcome to this Monday Morning Minute. Today we're going to be taking out tooth number 10 on this lovely lady, Marie, who's been a longtime patient of mine. We're going to be replacing it with a 3 millimeter 13 length mono implant. You can see uh, number Tooth number 10 is, is mobile. It's an old tooth that had a root canal and post and crown and it needs to come out. So we're gonna be extracting that today and immediately placing a mono implant. Okay, is she numb yet? Mm -hmm. Okay, you're all numb? Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take that out. Okay, Marie? Mm -hmm. All right. Marie, how long have you been coming here? 30 years. 30 years? Mm -hmm. Boy, time flies, doesn't it? <laughs> I've been in practice 35 years. You've been, you were one of my very early very patients. patients. How come you look like you're 35? I don't know. I'm genius. You started coming here when you were five years old? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, honey, here we go. We're going to take that tooth out, okay? The crown's going to come off first. All right, and there's the root underneath that's in bad shape. Okay, lift your chin up just a little bit, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, here it's coming. Just loosen it up. Okay. It's gonna come out in pieces because it's pretty, pretty badly decayed. Let's see if we can get that out. There we go. And there's the rest of it. Okay, we got the whole tooth out. As I like to say, the tooth, the whole tooth, and nothing but the tooth. Mm -hmm. All right. Have those scissors, please. For those of you who have seen me do these, you know I like to get rid of any of the infected tissue around the root. And it just helps it heal quicker and better when you do that. So I'm going to get rid of all that granulation tissue. Okay, good. Now we're going to go ahead and place our pilot hole for the one for the three O mono implant. We're going to use a one point five millimeter pilot drill. So here's our one point five millimeter pilot drill. We're going to go ahead and make our pilot hole, and because it's far down there, we're going to use a drill extender. So here's the drill extender for the pilot drill. And when we do this, I want to go about two or three millimeters from the crest of the ridge at a slight lingual angle. With a bendable mono, right? Okay. The uh, let's see here. Thank <laughs> you. 
in one second. I'm just trying to get a purchase here. Can you give me a fresh 2.5 uh, pilot drill? I'm going to start the hole with a 1.2. Let me see here. Okay. All right, now we're good. We're okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Here's our 3O by 13 millimeter mono implant. I'm going to start it by hand. Okay, because of the infection she had in there, section in the back there, um, the bone is a little bit soft. So actually, we're going to place it entirely by hand. Let me just see here. I'm getting good torque resistance now. Sorry, we got there in the back here. We're going to be using our new Shatkin First bone plug, which we're going to be launching very soon. So stay tuned to the new Shatkin First bone plug launch coming in the next week or two. And we're going to pack all around the implant. This is a bovine collagen bone plug. So we're packing all around the implant. This is a fantastic product that we've been using in my office for several months now, and I really, really like it. You know, I always use a product for myself for a while before I launch it and introduce it to all of my friends out there. So that's the new Shack and First Bone Plug. And it will be available for purchase within the next couple of weeks. Can I have some humus dip also, please? And most of you have tried our humus dip product. This is the resorbable, resorbable packing material that I like to put on top of the bone plug. And that's a Shack and First Hemostip product. So we pack that right over the bone plug and that keeps the bone in place and also helps to form a clot. And so I'm going to put one more piece in. Just roll it up and put it around the implant. And you really don't need sutures when you use this, this these products here. And Marie, you're doing fantastic. We're all done with everything. We're just going to make a temporary for you, okay? Because mm -hmm. I'm not going to send you out of here without a tooth. Maybe if it was Halloween, but not today. <laughs> all right. So we're going to go ahead and make a temporary for her. 
a little composite and we'll use, I call it rope composite, but it's bulk fill composite. You can use any product you like. This happens to be the Ivoclar Tetric uh, product, but you can use any, any composite that you like bulk fill. So I just form a tooth directly over the implant, a little bit more, not that much, just about half of that. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's nice because you can just add to it. So in a matter of minutes, maybe 10 minutes, we extracted her tooth. We placed a mono 3 millimeter by 13 implant and packed it with the check and first bone plug product and the hemostip gauze and made a temporary tooth for her. So I don't know any other implant system in the world where you can do such a thing in a matter of 10 minutes and have a patient all finished and ready to go home. And I've been doing this 35 years and I've never found anything better than the mini and mono implants. So we've got that all done. Nice and solid. Bite together. And that's perfect. Let's see, bite again. One little spot it's touching. Let me just adjust that. Open for me. Okay, bite together. Open. Bite again. Okay, perfect. Feel good, Marie? Mm -hmm. All right, wonderful. You're all set. You want to see your tooth? Oh. It's just temporary, okay? Yeah. Good. All right? Mm -hmm. And we'll let that heal for about four weeks, and then we'll take your impression and make your permanent porcelain crown, okay? Okay. All right, thank you very much, and thanks for joining us on this Monday Morning Minute. We'll see you next time. Join us for our two-day intro mini dental implant course right here at our headquarters in Buffalo, New York on Friday, February 21st and Saturday, February 22nd, featuring hands-on training and live surgery with Dr. Todd Shacken. Call us today to register or visit us on our website at shackenfirst.com.